pack of pack of pepper. They pack of Peter. Peter Peter Piper. Peter Pepper packed a. Wait, what did he pack? He packed a pepper. No. What is wrong with Peter Piper? Peter Piper picked a pepper? Peter Piper picked a pickled pepper. Picked a, he picked a pickled pepper, but yeah. what did he pick? No, there's more to it, but I don't remember. He didn't pick anything. It sounds like there's more to it, for sure, because he's picking a lot of things. No, he's not. It's Peter things Piper. that start with a P. No, I'm pretty sure it's Peter Piper picked a pickled pepper. But I don't remember the rest of it. There's more to it. How many pepple, pickled peppers did Peter... Peter Piker, Peaker Piker pick. <laughs> He's Peaker Piker. <laughs> Peaker Piker picks all the pickled peppers. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's already gone wrong. <laughs> Welcome everybody back to a la carte cooking happy hour. Yes. I am here today. <laughs> And I am already, already pre-funking. <laughs> but listen, <laughs> listen. I'm ready to help Dana. Oh my God. And These are the best happy hours. They oh, really just, are. I look back and I and I go, during editing, I look back and whatever. And I'm like, that was an absolute disaster. Yeah, I know, but it's so much fun. It is so much fun. I like it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, today we're using our Vitamix. So last week we did almond milk, almond flour, and then we made an, an almond joy. Yeah, which is super cool. Right, um, super, because there was no waste. I liked that part. I mean, those of you know that I I worked for Vitamix many, many years. Yeah. Dana actually worked for I Vitamix for, yeah, for many, many years. Yeah. Incredible. I mean, we're talking like number one sales rep in California. Which, thank God, wasn't my region because I was in the Northwest or else we'd be combative. <laughs> Maybe one of these times we'll hear it, the, about how we met. Oh, no. We're not putting that on here. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, those back of you to in what the we're in, doing today. Those of you in the end know. <laughs> back, huh? to, back to today's recipe. So, anyways. Uh, yeah. Making Vitamix recipes. Vitamix recipes. Yeah, this month is Vitamix. Love recipes. the Vitamix. We are doing a painkiller. <laughs> making like, a painkiller. <laughs> hold on a sec. <laughs> making a painkiller. With pineapple juice. Yes. It's Don delicious. Q rum. Yes, yes. Orange juice yes. and demerara and coconut. Yep. There is not a painkiller <laughs> you know, that I've ever heard of on earth that has any of those flavor <laughs> profiles. So, well, I'm excited. It does. I, I'm, we're gonna find out. All we're right. gonna find out. Okay, so it's all going into the Vitamix container because this one's gonna be blended. <laughs> all right, so yeah, our recipe, got it. our recipe, I don't wanna ruin my nails, so I'm gonna use this to open this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me help you. I pay for them to get painted every three weeks. Mm -hmm. Gotta keep them nice. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> True that. True that. Okay. Let me New get girlfriend our, every our three shot weeks. Class. New All girlfriend. Right. Th this could be helpful with the painkiller too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're just gonna use a real shot glass today. <laughs> a real shot glass. <laughs> yeah. All right. A busty shot glass. A busty shot glass. So it the, the, the best type. So into our Vitamix container. Do you that, want to start peeling our, our orange for us? Sure. We're gonna use a quarter of this. Grant is the best of this. He, this is like you watching magic. You may have magic. recognized this <laughs> from the uh, Vitamix skills. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. All right, while Grant this is, is one of those peeling things the orange. Like riding a bicycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is very full. I need to get to that container. Oh, you better grab it. Oh. All right, so we, oh, that smells really good. We're using a quarter of, oh, I forgot. These were the Cara Cara oranges. Mm. We're using a quarter orange. Y'all notice that? Quarter orange. You know this when is, people. Look at Grant's beautiful work. You know when people Watch peel this, this off? This. You know how, you know how that makes me feel? Oh boy, tell us. It makes me feel pithed <laughs> off. <laughs> because, honey, it's the pith. 
I should have had you take a shot of that, huh? <laughs> I did put it down so I didn't spill it all. All right, there all right. we go. A quarter, just a quarter. No, no, no. Oh, we just did. just one quarter? Yeah. Just a quarter. Really? That's it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> all soaked in rum now. Oh, bummer. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna finish pouring this in here. Don't worry, sweetheart. <laughs> Everything will work out oh fine. Oh my gosh, this is the best. Let's just do a little extra for why not. Okay, there we go. You know what, that's how we roll. <laughs> I don't know if you all saw that episode of my brother, but oh my gosh. holy cow. All right, and four ounces. So that was two ounces. For those of you that are actually paying attention to the ratios, Two ounces of rum, four ounces of pineapple. Here's our four, or maybe I put in six because this was a six inch, <laughs> six ounce can. And she almost said six inch can. <laughs> you caught that, didn't you? Uh, this no. is a six incher. <laughs> okay, well, Wide. we're gonna have to make this a little extra since I obviously didn't measure very well. All right, there we go. The recipe that we're supposed to be following is two ounces of rum, four ounces of pineapple, one ounce of orange juice, and one ounce of coconut cream. We are making our coconut cream today because we have a Vitamix. So rather than making it in advance, we're gonna do a tablespoon of coconut and a tablespoon of simple because it there is equal parts of coconut to water to sugar. There we go. And then we add, now we add our ice and we blend. <laughs> oh, look at the flower. Look, look at, at you. That. That's so pretty. It's a blooming <laughs> rose. <laughs> You're so talented. Okay. Uh, gentlemen, <laughs> this is how you get them. This is how you get them. <laughs> that and laughter. Okay, you wanna put in our ice and blend this puppy up for us? One moment, please. One moment. He's gonna have some of his cocktail. Mm. It's actually a ginger beer and rye whiskey. Oh, there you go. There okay. Go. All right. So. So into it, we're gonna. How many handfuls? I'm gonna say that's good. Medium-sized hand. <laughs> All you. right, you get this going. I need to grab our cinnamon because we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon oh, and. No, 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 that's the garnish, that's the garnish. I forgot to get it out. Yeah. So we're going to, yep. Do you wanna to go to high on this? Eight and a half. He's on eight and a half. Yeah. So sometimes when you go too high, it makes it too frothy. Yeah, yeah, I hear you on that. That was perfect, what was that, 20 seconds? It makes it a little too frothy. There's Ooh. something about having that little bit of ice in there. And it's gonna melt a little bit too. So when you go too frothy, in my opinion. So in this that I have found in my time with Vitamix is if you crank it up to high, it'll get that frothiness. But then if you quickly put it back down to about eight, eight and a half, it'll just mix things together, keep the little ice pieces in there and the pith will still have kind of liquefied. So that white part that's on the orange, the pith, isn't as uh, chunky. But here's the thing is, is, it's kind of funny because when I would demonstrate and people are like, oh, I don't like the pith. And I'd ask them, well, why? Why don't you like the pith? And they'd say, because it's bitter. Hmm. It, it's actually not. The bitter part it is doesn't have the a outside taste. feel. It's almost, it's just kind of spongy. Ooh. It doesn't really have much Look of how a, nice uh, that looks. To it. So it does, when it whips up, give it a little bit of uh, thickness to it. Ooh, I like this so much. If you know me. Oh, okay. Mmm. <laughs> that thick one. Oh my goodness. That is delicious. Mmm. Mm. If you inhale mm -hmm. with, was that cinnamon and nutmeg? Uh-huh. Mm. Cinnamon and nutmeg. You can do a right cinnamon off the top. stick. Ooh, that's good. Right? Wesley, you have to try some. I'm gonna, you're gonna want your own glass. I'm gonna give you. 
It, it is perfect. It's got a oh, little yeah. bit of froth to it, which actually holds up the nutmeg and cinnamon on mm -hmm. the top, so it doesn't just sink to the bottom, but. This is delicious. Wesley's running our camera again today. Thank mm. you, Wesley. We appreciate Wesley. you. Oh, Wesley. We'll have to top the one that we have off. That. Here's this. Yeah. By the way, you guys should uh, understand that Wesley's Ooh. the man. <laughs> <laughs> he taste tests all sorts of stuff. I know. Sometimes they oh, come out God. good. Sometimes Poor. they don't come out so good. <laughs> Wes, you should try this. If there's no description, oh, Wes, you should try this. <laughs> okay, here you go. Tell us what you think. I like this so much. That one is really good. Mmm. So, when I came across this recipe, I, you, the option of serving it was also in a coconut. Like you just dump this into a coconut and stick a straw in it. But so why do you think that this would be called a painkiller? I don't know. Coconut, orange, all things that can fall <laughs> For those of you that didn't hear that. All things, Wes said, all things that can yeah. fall from trees. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> what about the baby in the baby carriage? Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know where we're going with that, but... Anyway, this is our version of the painkiller. I think this turned out really good. Yeah, and I if really like uh, it. painkillers tasted like this, probably going to some sort of meeting. <laughs> I would be going to some sort of meeting on Monday nights. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in. We're here every Sunday, 3.30 Pacific Standard Time, and this is All I Cut Cooking Happy Hour. Hit that like and subscribe. We're working really hard to grow our subs. <laughs> Thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> this is really amazing.